Mark Williamson. Mark is second favourite, of course. Robertson, the number one player in the world at the moment, but I think Mark's still got a big win left in him. Could it be this week? So, Mark Paul. Williams makes the first pot of this pass. match. It's not a pot he would have liked. <laughs> Wasn't his best break off. It is much too thick. Like the green may have come to his rescue. They're just playing the roll up into the pack, which is unusual for Mark. He doesn't like to get involved in too many safety belts. Same shot for Mark. Roll up again. It's not bad. Obviously, normally you'd have played off the side of the pack, but with that red towards the left corner, makes it awkward to get it covered. Yeah, neither player likes to get involved in. They're just looking at each other yep. now. We'll have a re rack, and they've decided to do just that. So, so with 15 reds on the table, a re rack. And uh, I, I don't disagree with that at all. Both <laughs> these players are very, very fluent in the break wielding department. They don't want to get involved in any protracted safety. Uh, I was never yeah. one for that, Darren. Were you kind of, you know, I'd rather have them re racked and have the game normal. Yeah, it's been quite funny over the years. I was gone on it. I remember it used to be, and the referee would say, "Right, you've got another three shots each, and if the game doesn't change, um, we'll then ask for a re-rack." But um, obviously now uh, it's all changed. Players know instantly how the game's going to go, and they want to get on with things. So it's all they do it is they speeding up the inevitable. First frame. So first Mark frame, Williams. take two, Mark Williams. Hopefully be breaking off a little better than he did first time where he hit the blue and potted it. This time the conventional break inside the blue and hopefully tight on the cushion. Fraction hard, but we'd be pretty pleased with that.
Seven. Eight. to get rid of the red to the left of the black there but he hasn't got the angle just to, to screw into it see the black's no problem that's the red that's causing a problem as you can see it doesn't pot into the same pocket so he needs to try and nudge it if he can but may not be able to do it here well he did, he did play to actually kiss it half ball Mark not only obviously one of the game's great snooker players, he's not a bad dart 50. player either. And there in the audience is his good pal Justin Pipe, who's come along to watch Mark play. He's in the top few players of the world these days at uh, the, the darts. And I just, I'm, I'm always a foul Probably there, 15. so he must have touched Neural the black or something. Up. So touch it with his fingers. Yeah, he's just touched it with his cue. And I think he's just got the smallest of angles here on this blue. So if he has, he'll be powering this cue ball through. Two cushions for the red just above the black. He's had a run a little. He's about as good as he could have done Six. with that. Seven. Perfect angle on the black just to play a cannon. The, the middle one of the three reds, if you can just play the stun into that and just push through it a little bit. Don't want to play this with screw, you need to play this with stun so the white pushes through. Or it could play the real deep screw and, and uh, hopefully make that red go into the pack as well. Choice of two shots you can play. He's playing with topspin, so has he found something that pots? No, just play the middle red, and that's the one to hit. Perfect. 40. <laughs> 15. that was 20 absolutely fantastic hit the red absolutely perfect the cue ball just running through and what a chance this has turned into now obviously this was all from mark touching black with his cue so an unforced error and neil robertson he does like to attack as we've already said, he's been prolific with the 100 breaks this year. Terrific break builder. <coughs> yeah, a little bit difficult queuing. They may decide to take the red up for a blue or bought colour. He'd love to take the one that's just above the black, but he can't do that without probably needing the spider. Twenty-three. 
Oh, what a clever shot that is. Didn't think it was possible to get onto the pink, but he has done. Look at the gap he found there. Very, very good. You won't see two better cue actions in the game than yeah. these two players that are playing today. Twenty-nine. You may question this pink uh, being on its spot. We maybe thought it would go up on the brown spot. So the player's entitled to ask the referee just to respot it again if he if he thinks it's not quite on its spot. It looks like he's going to take. The referee's decision is final. This read a lot than that, than obviously you'd have liked. Not terrific Good. touch, he's played that again very, very well. Took all the pace out of the cue ball with lots of bottom. Yeah, when you think how. Good a pottery is down. It's an, it, you don't usually have both, do you? Sometimes your tutty is not quite as good with you being an aggressive potter. But he has everything. 35. And the key thing is, more than anything else, is his temperament. I mean, there's a lot of great potters in the game, a lot of great break builders, but not you know some of them haven't got the temperament this young man has. 36. sure Mark Williams knew that he was going to be in for a tussle this afternoon but uh, oh mind you has he ever missed one like that this season that's probably the easiest shot he's missed this season so 41 points in front as we see this red again he's I can only presume he's trying to pinch a little bit of the pocket to get low on the black what a chance this is for Mark Williams to get right back into the frame and these are the kind of frames there are that, that, that you can hurt your opponent. If you could, you're 50 behind and you clear up from his mistake, it doesn't half hurt. Yes, well, I agree, but I don't think that went quite the plan. It's first red, but he's knocked in the pink. He's gone a little bit closer at this red than he'd have liked. This red still is on, but he is chipping it back into a bit of a blind pocket. Seven. Can play to all the black. It's a little dinky shot. No problem. Nicely on the black. Now this frame. If he could pinch this frame from this visit, this would hurt Neil Robertson and put him on the back foot. Because he will never ever have expected to have missed a ball like that. I just haven't seen him miss one all 15. season like that. Very unlike him to not concentrate on virtually every shot, Neil. 16. Less with great concentration. That's gone away from him a little bit. There's no real problem, though. May decide to play it two cushions rather than one, or even play the yellow. Now the pink goes back into his own spot, so he doesn't really want to have to play the pink. The thing is, if he plays this with the normal shot, which is a little bit of check side, he'll go nearer the cushion, so he's got to judge the pace of the screw. Looks to be just slightly overscrewed. Is he straight enough on this? 18. I think he's okay. Yes, he is. 19. And now Mark's gone favourite to win the frame. Just needs to hold himself together now. And this will be a body blow for Neil Robertson. You don't mind losing frames if the opponent makes 60 or 70 from his own good shot. What you can't 26. sit there and enjoy is when you miss an easy ball and then your opponent clears up from 50 behind. 27.
32. Thirty-three. Well, you made that card look very easy, but cutting that back into a line pocket is much more difficult than what he made it look. So one good positional shot now from black to yellow. And that is looking just about perfect. With being left-handed, nice and comfy. Now just Four goes into the lead for the first time. He's not happy with the contact he had there. He's lost the cue ball, so this now all of a sudden has become a little bit more difficult than it should have been. He said he had a kick there, Wills, which just looked like he hit it a little bit hard. Yeah, or a big bounce off the I cushion. I thought he hit it a bit hard, but uh, maybe he did get the half a kick and maybe a slight bounce off the cushion. But normally a decent player with the rest. It doesn't have to do too much with the cue ball. The natural angle to come around the back of the brown, with the brown in the same pocket. Yeah, well done. 45. So four points in front, up to the pink needed to pinch the first frame. I don't say that lightly, because it will be a pinch. 49. Just double checking, he knows that he'll need the pink. What a frame of snooker this has been. 13 in front. Well, Robertson started with a 49. Looks certain to clear up and win the frame, and he missed a very easy red. Williams replied with a fabulous clearance of 60 to take the opening frame. Yes, it was. I wasn't quite sure what happened with that, whether he had a bad contact or whatever, but it was an unexpected miss, I and mean, he looked very, very good up to that stage. But for Mark Williams, that was a huge boost. It wasn't just winning the frame, it was clearing those balls in the style that he'd done it. That will really give him a lot of confidence for the rest of the match. And that's exactly what he'll have to do if he's to hold off the world number one in this match. The second frame is underway and uh, Mark Williams is at the table. So will he be tempted for the long red to the corner? Or will he play the safety? Terry said he will be feeling good. I think he's picked the right choice in playing the safety shot. And obviously Mark Williams is still a young man now, but in his younger years, we'll say, he used to go for everything. The problem is he used to pot most of it. He used to have a funny way of playing. Well, you, you'd expect him to play safe and he'd go for something, and then you'd expect him to go for something and he'd play safe, as if he was trying to confuse his opponents. One of his big uh, assets was he used to play what looked a really dangerous shot, and then, you, then he missed it. You think, well, why has he played that? But then you see where the white ends up, and he, he was very, very clever around the table. He was able, able to make shots that looked dangerous into shots and nothings. He knows his way around the table. I put him in my, in my top four of all time. That's how highly I rate Mark Williams. OK, he's on the... Maybe said he can be on the decline a little bit now, but uh, he had everything, this, this fella. One of the best potters in the game. Excellent break build-up. Good temperament. But he's playing a man who's exactly the same and perhaps a little bit more consistent, so it's going to be tough. But pinching that first frame will help. Well, that was an example of a, a bounce of a cushion. That's not happened too much this week. I mean, when you consider he hit that perfect, which means it should be within five or six inches of the cushion and look where it's finished. But no damage done apart from the fact that Neil Robertson, you'd expect to find the top cushion now. Well, he's found a plant. He did come around to have a look at that and a very good kiss to boot. One.
Neil Robertson won. Not easy across the cushions. That's where the mark can get through this red past the pink. Pockets have played quite nippy this week. There's been quite a few across the cushions that have lipped and stayed there. Well, if he does go for this, he's going to have to play it with a trace of right hand side, I think, just to gently swerve past the pink. He's having a little look there. If he plays this shot, that's where the cue ball is going to land up. And he's just seeing if he would be leaving a red into the right centre. So there might be a little bit of value in having a little go at this. Yes, he had to swerve it, didn't he? And it was very tough. Neil Robertson will be pretty pleased he got away with that miss on the brown. There's a lot of side being imparted, but... He's using one of those cues that uh, Darren mentioned, which doesn't throw very much at all. Hmm. Phone the police. Neil Robertson is missing one or two. See him play an attacking shot. Yeah, he could go for this red. Cue ball off the top cushion at the back of the pack. No win. He has got that brown down over the yellow pocket. He doesn't finish on the black nicely. Just got to make sure the pot, this natural angle, would take him into the back of the pack. He might elect, obviously, to play for a single colour. Which he has. What? I think he'll settle for that, though. I think he's played a miss them and go down for the blue. It's nicely on the black. Amazing, isn't it? Uh, a couple of shots ago, Mark Williams was playing a safety shot. It flew Eight. off that cushion. This time, Neil just played on and off the cushion. It didn't. It just came off almost dead. So this is a very unusual start for Neil Robertson so far, from what we've been seeing for the most part of the season. That's a poor safety shot. It's an unexpected chance now for, for Neil. Glance over his shoulder there, Mark Williams, his friend and colleague Matthew Stevens is on the next table. And there's Mark Williams' son next to Justin Pipe, just getting his earpiece right. He was on television the other day with, with Mark, wasn't he? Made his debut on television. Mark brought him into the studio after his first round win. He's a lovely boy. I think his name's Kian. I'm not too sure which one, it, whether that's Kian or his other son.
let's have another little look and give us a quick wave oh. while Justin's putting your earpiece in. Come on, wave to Uncle Willie. <laughs> Lovely boy. Robertson five. get through to this it's another mistake so well, Robson looks like he's a little bit rattled at the minute since he's missed that relatively easy red the frame before but Mark of old in full flow that was a bread and butter shot for Mark just forcing it a little yeah if he hadn't had as much to do with the cue ball he had to screw back didn't he to not snoop himself the red next to the black to try to dig into it. There's not left anything straightforward for Neil. Extended spider. Now if he plays it plain ball on and off the cushion, I'm not too sure whether he'll finish a bit too close to the black, so he may decide to try and screw around the back of the black or stun around the back of the black. Ooh, it's coming from a great height here. He could kind of Hold the rest further further up. I mean, it was a bit more parallel, but decided to play it like this. Just lost the cue ball. One. there for Neil Robertson took all the pace out of the cue ball otherwise he'd be a little bit closer to this red Three. the main thing is for Neil's concern the yellow went in been a lot of kicks don't know why it's been a great debate over the years what's the cause lots of different analogies oh. Well, he's got the perfect angle on the brown now to play one cushion into the into the pack. He'll be playing it quite pacey because he doesn't want the cue ball to stick on the edge of the pack. Let's be played at pace. Pretty good. Has he got on a red or has he snookered on all three? When I say snookered, I mean is he not able to pot any one of the three? I don't think he is at the first glance. Probably just about make the bottom one, but can he get anything on the cue ball? I mean, the black pot's in the same pocket as the red, and he would have to screw back. I mean, if he could screw back into the red to the, to the left of the black, it's OK. But I think he plays a direct screw back. He's going to be kissing the black. Oh, that's an excellent Five. shot. Well played. Good shot, that. Just had to pinch the pocket. If he potted it in the centre of the pocket, he may have kissed the black. So he had to just pot it thick, which meant that the cue ball was coming off at a different angle. I just wonder whether normal service is going to be resumed. Sixteen. Seventy. We'll see him going into this pack of reds off the black. Maybe playing with slots of bottom to try and drag the cue ball through the pack to leave himself on the red to the right. He hasn't quite got into that. I don't think he can get to anything to the 24. middles. He's too close to the one just below the cue ball. The option he's got is awkward cue in the one to the right of the black is he originally played on. And this is not a gimme. Yes, I'm not too sure whether they can play this slow enough to stay on the black. Yeah, 
he potted it thick, which just slowed it down. Can you imagine a little bit harder? He'd have been in trouble. Look where the red went in, off that jaw. Now, if it had been in the centre of the pocket, the cue ball would have been another three or four inches higher up. But he did very well there to stay on the black. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. A break of forty-nine in the first frame. Missed a very, very easy ball, which ended up costing him the game. His break is now at forty. The lead is fifty-four. So just two more reds 40. and colours. Three reds to be absolutely certain, but. Two reds, two blacks have put him almost past the winning post in this frame. 41. Just looks so confident when he's in wheels. He missed that easy red in the last game, but when he gets in, he just looks so powerful with his scoring. He didn't play for this one to the right centre. But he edged his bets. He always knew that if he didn't get on the bottom one of the three, he does have this shot in backup. And that <laughs> wobbled. And that was frame ball as well. If that stayed out, who, who knows? He could have lost this frame. And as far as Mark's concerned now, that's the end of this frame. Getting his mindset for the next. Neil Robertson in his mind it'll be century 56. number 88 of the year coming up. Well, that's what he'll be looking for. Yeah, most people, when they think about the great break builders, they, they obviously first of all think of Stephen Hendry, then they think of Ronnie O'Sullivan, and then probably Steve Davis. You can put Robertson in your top three or four, but all of a sudden you've got now got to make him one of the best break builders of all time to have made 86 69. and counting centuries in one season. He's just remarkable. And Stephen Hendry, the great Stephen Hendry, never 17. even got close to that. I know there's a lot more matches these days, and I'm sure Stephen Hendry would have passed 100 if, he, if he'd played as many matches as they do now. This is just incredible. Not quite right on this. If this red so goes in, it would certainly be another century. Well done. Just got to get onto the yellow now, and there shouldn't be a problem. again he struck that yellow he does hit the ball very clean very very confident 90 well, I think this is entry number one coming up of this match ninety four does love making them he did say he wanted to get to the 100 this year by the end of the season. That was his aim. So he's got quite a few tournaments left, so it's looking on. And that will be an unbelievable. 105. And there we are, 105. It's black, 112. There it goes. And Neil Robinson will be feeling a lot happier after missing that easy red in the first frame. Match now is all level, at one apiece. The home favourite, who's about to break off in the third frame against Neil Robertson, the uh, world number one, and looking every inch the world number one, with another century break in the second frame.
Beautifully poised this match at one frame all. And Willie and Darren will take us through frame three. Yeah, thank you very much indeed it is. And very good display from both players, really. That's not the best break off, though. Robertson usually very proficient at this kind of shot. Hmm. Bad kick there, I think, as well. The red straightened up, the white straightened up. Wow. Good pot. Not too sure whether the black's available in the corner. We'll know by the way he plays the next red. Obviously, he's come low on this uh, red on purpose, so that tells Six. us the black's not available. Seven. How's his look? Not good. Twelve. I mean, a couple of things could have happened there. He could have obviously split them better than that. But he could have had a red that kissed that red away from the black. But nothing's happened, really. The red that was available, you can see there, the pink just coming in its way. I think there's only a safety shot left. Williams, 12. Well, he nearly picked a little gem out there into the middle. If he can get through to this red, and he goes into the yellow pocket. You feel he'll be playing it. Probably stun over towards the pink and will leave nothing on. Just whether he can get through to it. He's having a little look. He's looking to see where he's going to stick the cue ball. So that would tell me that the pot's not on. Just going to try and put Mark in as much trouble as he can. Got to get this cue ball right. That's looking just about perfect. What was the problem with our shot? If he hit it short, he'd have left the red to the middle. If he did it too hard. He'd have left the same red, and he might have even left this thin snick on the red. Well, not, not that thin. <laughs> Mark will be happy with that. It's essential when you play that kind of shot, you overcut them if you're going to miss them rather than hit them thick, because the cue ball, of course, wouldn't have gone back into pork. So it's worth the risk. Straightforward to play a safety shot to get back into Bork, so he may have to leave the cue ball at this end of the table. But the red to the right of the pink, you know, if he plays that full ball, any problem is he doesn't really want the red to cannon into the red and black and then probably leave that red on, so he's got to have to find the top cushion if he plays that. Thinker. He's in a bit of trouble here, he's already taken over a minute. I don't know whether he's just screwing back or what he's doing here. Yeah, using the, the red to screw back into the pack. And he's played that pretty well. Well done. I 
and Julie hasn't covered this red up, so it's a relatively straightforward shot for Mark to put Neil in a little bit of trouble. Played the pot as a shot to nothing, but he's caught the wrong jaw. Just what you didn't want. say this is a fantastic scoring opportunity for a big break but certainly an opportunity to get 30 or 40 points on the board he's gonna have to concentrate on the blue and the pink the black is tied up so there's still a lot of work to be done at the moment six obviously ideally he'd love to get that pink back onto a spot there's a couple of reds below he can just Pick them off one by one. Seven. Let's concentrate on the blue for the minute. I think off this next blue he'll play on a red that he can get onto that pink. There's one just below the pink spot to the left. Somebody's played on. Ball just ran on a little bit further than he liked, so the, the one Five. below goes. <coughs> yeah, not too sure whether the pink, when he when he pots it, will go back onto its own spot. He'd like it. That's why I wanted to play the red that Darren was talking about, the one to the extreme left of those three that are on line, and that's why he's getting rid of it now to try and make it easier when he eventually pots the pink. I doubt whether he'll be playing for the pink off this red. At least then the pink will be available into at least three of the four major pockets at this end of the table. Okay. So we've got the choice now, pink or blue. And now the pink spot is clearly free, so it's good thinking from Neil. Six. Well, if he ends up making a frame winning break from where he started, he'll do really well. The black still tied up, but the pink is opening all four major pockets now. So you can certainly get about 50 or 55, 60 in front before he has to worry about the three reds that are tied up. Looks so solid in amongst 30, the balls. 30. Looks like every time he gets in, he's going to clear up. Just doesn't look like yeah. missing. Again, he's having the cue ball cleaned. Feels he had a bad contact. Yes, I think he thought the cue ball should have come further to the right. sure whether anything's available in the left hand corner now so they may have to screw behind these three reds that are on the right hand side cushion okay. 
get on anything. Maybe if you just rolled the pink in, I'm not too sure whether they could just kiss into the red, probably not. too much side on that. He wanted the cue ball to be just Four. a couple of inches the other side of the pink. But this red's still on. <laughs> and he tried to play a clever little Four. shot there. He tried to hit the outside red to move the two off the black. He just got a little bit thicker of a contact than he'd have liked. It's a touching ball you have to nominate to cover. That's the end Thanks. of break. He's put himself well in control in this frame. Uh, black. Black. Lee Robertson for Yeah, the fact that it was touching ball meant that he could just play that shot. But Mark in trouble. So with uh, 29 points behind, still plenty of balls left. I don't blame him for risking trying to hit that off ball and putting the cue ball in balk. They'll have another go at that one. It's no good hitting the red full ball and leaving it, so he's going to try the same shot again. Try and hit the red half ball. The only slight problem with playing the shot here is he, the cue ball, if he does get this shot right, could still cannon into the blue after having hit the red. So he's got to be careful here. On this. Mean, people may four. be thinking, why well, should hit that? But yes, he should hit it. There's no problem if he wants to hit it full ball. It is it probably nine out of ten. But he wants to hit it half ball, quarter ball to make sure the cue ball goes back in the balk. Fungs. Maybe he doesn't leave a free ball on one of these occasions. That may be a free ball. No, it's not. But that's to the extreme right-hand side of the table, the one that's near the cushion. If he rested on that, I don't see there's any pot on. Fungs. Lee Robertson. <laughs> Now these points weren't so important, the first eight or twelve points. He's now getting important because he's now f uh, some 45 points behind. He's now probably hit it too thick. <laughs> Farmers. He's got to hit it quarter ball or half ball. If he did this another four or five times, he won't play the same shot, he'll play a different shot, but it's worth the risk of getting this safe. And the only way he can get it safe is by hitting it thin. That's the one, that's the one he was looking for. Very good, eventually. see a long deep screw off Neil Robertson after all of this. I think it'll be awkward for him to play a safety. He is having a little look to see if he can go for this one above the pink. I don't think he can miss the cannon. 
This red to the right corner. One of the three. It's virtually dead straight. He can play it as a roll through. A screw, a stun, whatever he's most confident with. And he's played a safety shot. And he's been a little bit fortunate because he made a bit of an ash of it. Mark's still in the game, isn't he? Now he's a 49 points behind with 75 on. So those points he gave away weren't so important at the time because he was key not to leave Robertson in the balls. Uh, one good safety shot here, bring these two reds into play. And should he get a chance, he'd have the chance for the clearance. Needs to miss the green. Yeah, because the red's tight on the cushion on the side cushion, you can't play safe off that because you get the double kiss. They played a slightly more difficult uh, safety shot, knowing that he couldn't really get a good white. going to cost Mark the frame. Oh, a nice little nudge off that pink. This isn't time. Does he put another ball colour safe in playing this safety shot? Does he just roll up behind the brown? I think in fairness put the yellow safe and put the white somewhere near the green. Might do either. Yeah, yellow's gone reasonably safe. Very fortunate there. You get that way too thick. 
Very close to going in and off. Which obviously now has left Mark. A little bit more of a difficult safety than it should have been. Played it well. He's still in this frame. Albeit he is 50 behind. Still more than enough on the table. This would be a great frame to pinch. We see still put Neil Robertson heavy favourite. Doesn't want the kiss on the green there because he wants to leave that as safe as possible. Now is it worth the, the deep screw for the blue or possibly the black? Well, as he gets the screw, he won't leave the red in the middle. Oh dear, no, he has left the red in the middle. Terrible contact that, though. Oh, could you believe it? Neil Roberts has been missed more balls in this match already than I've seen him miss for quite a few weeks. <laughs> Where the, where the balls are now, though, it's uh, impossible to clear up. What? Well, that's an horrendous kick. What a cruel game this can be sometime. You get Marcus. yourself in the balls and all of yeah. a sudden, through no fault of your own, you get an explosion. He wouldn't even kiss the red quarter ball if he'd have potted it, and it ended up the kick was so bad he hit it full in the face. Lee Robertson, eight. It's a frame beyond any doubt, and he's One nodded frame. to Neil yeah. Robertson. A bit of a scrappy frame, that, but a break of 41 from Robertson early on in the frame was a catalyst to take him into a 2-1 lead. So, Neil Robertson breaking off. All of a sudden, things are going to plan for him again. Mark needs to change them plans now. Of shots that he can play long pots he can go for well he was just about to play that and I think a baby in the crowd or a youngster has had a bit of a scream out which has put him off so they've quietened things down I think that's the difference as well not to be hard on Mark these days or well, the baby's off again somewhere in the audience obviously not liking the standard of play but um, Mark was a fantastic single ball potter, fantastic long long ball potter. You just don't think he knocks in quite as many as them as he used to. 
when he was a little bit younger, but obviously both players can hear this little cry in. It's putting them off. I'm just I'm just looking up in the in the bleachers there and I can't see anybody that's uh, got a child, but obviously there was a sound like that. Going back to Mark's uh, last shot he played, I honestly think he got a kick in the safety shot there. I don't think uh, you know, eat it that bad, but uh, got a very bad contact. Everybody's looking up into the into the crowd, and the, I can't see anybody. One. But now Robertson in around the black spot again, and we know how good he scores. It's going to be tough for Mark to win three frames on the trot the way the match is going. Eight. Nine. Oh, Willie or won't he? Two loose reds. But you would expect him to go straight into the pink. As well as in that pack is perfect as well for it, isn't it? As long as he gets a full ball contact on the pink. Well, he didn't, and he's missed the blue. He's thrown, I was going to say, a lifeline to Mark, and that red has just come perfectly for him. Well, it's amazing how many blues have been missed over the years. I hope he wasn't referring to the blue you missed all them years ago, Wills. I'd have thought you'd have forgotten about that one by now. No, certainly not. Mine was a lot easier than that. <laughs> so this is a real lifeline for Mark Williams. Look for all money. He's possibly going to go 3-1 behind a few moments ago. Now, he's just got to hold himself together now because he's been kept off the table for quite some time. We had a lot of kicks and that, so that doesn't breed confidence when you're down on a shot and you're playing a little run through or a little Seven. stun. You, you, can't, you can't start thinking you're going to expect a kick. But there's been lots today. Eight. obviously only available into one of the corner pockets at the moment but he can soon get rid of those two reds with him being a left hander makes it a lot easier 28 could have done with leaving this slightly off straight so it would have been easier to get to the side cushion but the angle he's got he can't do that now in fairness that wasn't the best shot he's ever played Still marching on, Mark. Still a long way from 
secure in this fourth frame. It was quite funny, really, that the first frame he 42. won after Neil Robson missed a real easy red. And he cleared up, and then all of a sudden, Neil 40. Robson's missed a blue that you probably count on one hand all season that he's missed. Mark's not complaining, though. Yes, you can imagine that it's, n it's every possibility now it's going to go 2-2, two -two and Robertson could have won 4-0. That's how strange and how close Snooker 50. can be sometimes. That's how strange Snooker is. Mark Williams, 50. I think he's possibly uh, broke a knuckle, broke a cue. Very unlike Mark Williams to do that, but he gets so f it must be so frustrating when you've been an absolute top player to miss a shot like that. And my knuckles hurt, and I wasn't even down there. Mark Williams, fifth. Twice as bad, him just flippantly getting down and smacking the double in. But that is that is an characteristic of Mark. He never shows any emotion really. That's one of his strong points of his game and his makeup. Very easy going. I've got to be honest, I can't remember ever Mark Williams showing petulance like that before but it was such an easy bed and he knows it should be 2-2 two -two now now he's got to sit and suffer and just hope that Robertson doesn't clear up it'd be unlikely where the balls are but not impossible you, you must remember it Willie <coughs> Michael Holt done a similar thing a couple of years ago and broke his knuckles he did break his knuckles yeah he was out of the game for a little so while <coughs> Why Michael Holt does it regular <laughs> great player Michael but uh, Look a little bit upset with himself occasionally. <coughs> well, at least it's only cost Mark seven points, so we can take some umbrage from that. Doesn't want to be touching ball, seven. otherwise he'd be in trouble. <laughs> Not touching that. That was a oh. very, very good safety shot. Mark Williams. Bit unlucky to have gone in off. He couldn't do much about this. If he caught the jaws then, Mark would have been in all kinds of trouble. As it is, now he's got a chance to stick Neil Robertson in more bother. Quite good. Needs a cue ball just to quicken up a little bit. And that is very good. with this red just to pot it then play a safety shot one and now it's time to put a ball colour safe or even put black or pink safe whichever he fancies but certainly just looking at the scoreboard he didn't really want to risk the black I'm sure there's only 39 points in front so the black's 46 with 59 on there's no advantage really in potting the black 
There's plenty of advantage in putting a colour safe. Maybe trying to put the black on top of the two reds, but you know, when you can clip the pink onto the side cushion. Just want to kiss the green though. <laughs> Used to miss that kiss on the green. Mark Williamson. Yeah, it's okay, well done. We've talked about Mark's long game, how good it used to be and how poor it is now. Consider he was the best long ball potter in the game for many, many years. And that's the thing that disappears. The older you get, the long game becomes harder and harder. The pink, the only stumbling block here, for a Robertson clearance. There's he got to avoid the bought colours though, and playing around for the black or the blue maybe. He decided to play for a bought colour, make sure he didn't one. kiss one of them. Not that cleanly either. And Mark has got Neil a little bit at it at the moment. I wonder how his knuckles are feeling. Does he give the table a bit of a bash? Might give it another one if he loses this frame. This is the frame he certainly should have won. Six. Played that about as good as he could have played it. He's so careful to miss the cannon on the red just above the black. Like Willie has said, other than the pink now, everything is nicely out in the open. Just wondering whether, because he's looked at this, I mean, he's played this uh, this break a lot different than most. And whether he's leaving an angle on this black to bring the pink into play and stay on the red, I don't know. Forty. He hasn't done it this time, so but he took his time about this. I think he, he was trying to do that, but it would have been very dangerous to do it. It's not a bad pink to get into play from the blue. If you finish high on the the blue when you get to it, you can notice the pink up towards the middle. 21. Oh, what's gone wrong there? 22. Well, the only good news of that shot, he can now bring the pink into play. 
Well, they played it plain ball. I mean, OK, the cushion may have bounced a little, but if you were worried about finishing too close to the black, just play with a little bit of left-hand side. But here comes the pink into play, so now whoever pots the yellow, you would think would win the frame. Lee Robertson, 22. That was looking like that was going to be perfect. The cue ball just slid past the black. Covered that yellow with the green and the pink. He's okay. He wouldn't have played that yellow that far up to the middle pocket. As you can see, the snooker is achieved. Big frame now. So then, he's given Mark the chance he needs. He's going to need yellow, green and brown. In goes the yellow. And he's played that to perfection. So in goes the brown. This will be a very relieved Mark Williams. Did have a 50 break 40. at the start of this frame and missed a relatively easy red and give the table a bit of a bashing with his knuckles, but he'll be feeling so much better. Pops the pink. So Neil Robertson had his chances, couldn't take them. Mark Williams now levels the match two frames each. Well, two heavyweights of the game going toe-to-toe -to -toe here in Newport this afternoon. The match beautifully poised. Who will prevail? Well, I certainly think Mark Williams would be the more satisfied of the two players. To be level at 2-2. Two -two. But Robertson, as we've mentioned many, many times, is blessed with a wonderful temperament. Won't particularly worry him, but... Right, if he keeps sticking balls over the pocket like this. it off the cush just to chip it in. The problem with that is if you lose the cue ball, you won't be on the black. He can play a deep screw shot, but again, and he's elected the off the cush, and like I said, he's caught it a bit thin. He's lost One. the cue ball, so that was a real good chance there. Shot there might have been the power shot, trying to screw back the six inches. You know, there's been a lot to have asked, but Better play that a lot softer. A little bit of frustration creeping creeping in there, I think. Can he pull out another good pot, which you need to do? But Seven. unfortunate not to be nicely on the black or maybe the blue is uh, faced with another difficult blue, especially with the red being on the pocket. It's amazing how much more difficult these shots become when you know if you miss it, you're bound to leave a red. Done well here, Mark. Well done. Yes, yeah, so and they said end of break, and then he's potted three Twelve. terrific balls, probably three best balls he's potted all match. He's done very well to keep it Third. going. And now, for the first time in this little bit of a break, he's now in perfect position. 
Yeah, probably leave the red half ball in the middle and then just drop on the black. And it's come too far, that's why he's disappointed. He wanted to be on that red half ball so he could drop Eight. right on the cushion behind the black spot and pop the black on the cushion. He can't do that now. 90. Now this is the key shot. Can he get the pink into play? Usually very, very good at this kind of shot. But hit the wrong ball, never even hit the pink. Never even hit the pink. 24. Can't bemoan your look when you've not uh, hit the ball you played to. Mark Williams, 24. Had a little bit of a wobble on it. Didn't quite pot it clean, but he'll settle for that. And he's on this blue. Okay, he's got to negotiate in and out of bulk. One good positional shot, and he's got three reds just below the pink that he can play for. Just needs to miss all the colours. In the middle pocket, which he's done. I don't think he could ask for much better than Six. that. It's going to finish better on the red next to the pink. So A, you can clear the, the red away from the pink, and, and it's so easy to, to stun for the pink in the middle pocket. But that one shot has given him a chance now to score heavily. Seven. There's three more reds and pinks, maybe four reds and pinks he can take without any problem, then the work starts. At that stage you'll be 20 odd points in 21. front. 21. Three of the four remaining reds safe. So he'll certainly be favourite at the end of this break, if he doesn't win it at this visit. Get a lot of half, half kicks, you know, kicks that are just taking that bit of pace out of the white. He played to finish 27. another three inches closer to that red there. Can any play for the possibly the blue? May just play it plain ball for the pink. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's done. 
He's not happy with the wife at the moment, is he? Oh, it seems to be having a lot of kicks. We've noticed in other matches here in the commentary box that seems to be unusual line number. It is quite funny as well when you're not queuing 34. 100%. We'll seem to get a couple more kicks. Just think this way you're not quite going through the ball. 35. Sweet enough. So he's going to play for the last of the open reds now, the one just below the black spot there. They'll clearly pot into the right hand corner. I knew he'd play the move one or two here. No, he decided to play for that loose one. And in playing this shot, he's Four. going to have to move something into play. Could play the deep screw and try and run the black along the cushion. That's not a bad clue. Just coming around to look at the angle he's going to have on this uh, this red. Maybe he's even thinking of just kissing off the red that's just below it. But plays the deep screw. We could run the black right across the top cushion and also bring that red into play as well. There's the black. Oh, Fourth nearly one. went in. A very clever shot, and that's now a frame winner. Mind you, how poor has he played this? But look at this shot Fourth on the black. One. Just bound to run it across the cushion. I thought for one second it was going in. He's played a Terrible positional shot there. He'll take this red on if he can cue it. There are 24 points in front. It looks like he's going to take the cut on. Oh, this is dangerous. If he misses it, he's sure to stick it. Now, is this worth the risk? I don't know. What would he pot this? 7 out of 10? I think you're being a little bit generous there, Willie. I'd say probably five on, on a good day, six. A seven. I think so that's a bit optimistic. So why is he playing it then, if it's that tough? Just didn't see the point in playing that shot. Just didn't. There was just no advantage of playing the shot. Neil Robertson, 48. Hasn't he been fortunate, though? I don't think Mark's got any other shot than to play this pot down in this. Top right hand pocket from the red he's nearest to. Maybe played in the middle. Can play as a shot to nothing. Yeah, he was he was very fortunate there, Neil Robertson, and Mark's just overhit that slightly because this red's now on.
Nein. Where does the red come from? Needs another red after this pink. Just wants to just drift past the black if he can. Trying to make the red as easy as possible. Not like that. I can only presume once again the whites kick because somebody of his class would have known he would have played that shot not even expecting to kiss the black and he's hit it off the ball but that's just another bad contact Mark Williams has been given a reprieve here he's still in this frame Robertson Obviously better. Well, that's just how's Bounce. that curled round the green and brown? It's just look, there's Williams. no way it could curl around the green and brown there. Free so ball. it's a free ball. Neil Robertson is looking so bemused, and so am I. Brown. Another kick. In saying that, I was surprised Mark Williams didn't play the pot the brown there. I mean, there's no way. Just keep an eye on the white here. I don't know whether we're going to see it from this angle, but. It's gone past the green, so now there's no way it's going to be a snook, and all of a sudden it's to put Bounce. the little arc in and come back the other way at the end. And I'm surprised Mark didn't play the pot the brown in the middle there. Okay, the snook is okay, but if he gets this and gets it safe, which is every chance he might do, which he has, he's gained no advantage. Yeah, it's quite a strange turn of events. And how big now is this for him? They're all important, but this one now, in the scale of things, is massive. Because a couple of shots ago, it looked like Neil Robertson had won it. Mark was going to find himself one behind with two to play. All of a sudden, a couple of shots later, it's all to play for. He didn't really want to have to play safe off this red. So this has got to be hit perfectly. And it's pretty good. I'm sure the crowd weren't, but what a great pot. One. Well, barring a kick, it's hard to see Mark Williams not taking a 3-2 lead, even though he's Five. 30 points behind as we speak. Six. Just shows you how nerves can come into the game. Didn't hit that well at all, but it's still okay. Just before the middle pocket, touch your left hand side. Just has to hold himself together now to lead 3 2. 12. Seventeen. Twenty. 
21. Twenty-six. This is not perfect because he plays it plain ball. He's going to be pretty close to the black. He may screw on and off the cushion here. That's what he decided to do to take the risk of a kick out of the equation. Excellent pot. Looks into play it right-handed. So that was a bit of a steal, that for Mark Williams, for all money, it looked like Robertson was going to take a 3-2 lead, but he didn't do. Mark Williams clears with 39 to lead. That's three frames to two. Uh, there's been quite a few ups and downs in this match so far. I don't know whether you're a, ma a batting man, Terry, but uh, who would your money on be on at this stage? Well, you'd have to go for the man that's 3-2 in front, and that's Mark Williams. <laughs> Again, Mark's had a caught that one. Mark of old, bread and butter shot, but he's missed it. He's been a bit fortunate. The ball's now spread absolutely perfect for whoever can get in. And he has left Neil Robson attempted at this left corner, but what a big risk it would be. So he's just going to let the come off two cushions and roll on to the red. You can't blame him, because one mistake, and he's out. And that needs to speed up, which it has. You wouldn't believe if you get it that close, so there's no safety shot for Mark Williams. What an amazing judge of pace. You'd almost want to ask for a re rack again here, wouldn't you? But it's not going to be accepted. If it's touching, it's a touching ball. Oh, now Mark's got a chance to put distance between. But can he get back to Bork? <coughs> I think they might get a re rack, and these reds are absolutely beautiful. Touching ball. Well, if it's touching ball, it's a foul shot. Because it was touching ball before, and it's touching ball again, so it means he's hit the red. Not that it makes any difference. I mean, obviously, you know, it's only just the four points, isn't it? It's right down, isn't it? That is a real, real good uh, point, and he, he's missed that, the referee, because you are right. If it's touching ball and you're playing away, how can you still be touching to it? Yep. Well, they decided to have a re-rack, I don't blame them. The Reds are in perfect position, but they decided to take a re-rack. Yeah, I mean, just a quick point there. I mean, obviously, the referee, you know, you can forgive him to, for making that little mistake, but, you know, it could have been important later on. I mean, if the ball's touching, it means you're deemed to be able to play away and hit it. Now, if it ends up touching again, it means you would hit it. So, but that's not a real problem. It would, and the four points would have made no difference at all. But that, I must admit, that's the most unusual re-rack I've ever seen. Frame six. When there's reds all over the place, Here's black and pink red. available in both pockets, and they've had a re-rack. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. But anyway, frame six, take two, Neil Robertson. We've had two re-racks in this match so far. What Neil Robertson obviously has to do is win, win the remaining two frames.
phones. So no real damage done other than four points away. And he has given Neil Roberts a chance to play a real good safety and comfortably on the table. It's to Mr. Yellow. And to just giddy up a little bit in behind the brown. And that isn't bad. Looks like it's a snooker. The safety shot a lot easier. <coughs> Should be able to get right behind the brown here. There's a gap in between the blue and brown. He can just play in between them and try and rest it right on top of the brown. Even behind the yellow. But behind the browns is going to be a slightly more difficult snooker to hit than from behind the yellow. Surprised he didn't try and get in behind the brown there because he's left a gap for Mark Williams. The possibility to get this back into Bork. Mm, pretty good effort that. Did well. foot of pace would have been perfect. It's been a real strange match this. It's look all like Neil Robertson to be fair. As Mark Williams is three to ahead. Been very strange, lots of funny bounces and lots of funny kicks out there. And in spasms, Neil Robertson has looked fantastic. And then all of a sudden, he's missed some balls that you just can't believe the way he's been playing that he has missed. Been a very intriguing encounter though. Neil Robertson four. Just making sure, just having a look at the okay. still picture. That's where it was.
Well, that we missed a couple of long pots. That was an excellent pot. And in hindsight, you could say it's a little bit important not to have a better angle on this pink. He'd still expect him to pot the pink without problem, but to hold the white, for, he wants to get on the red just to the right of the black. I'm not sure whether that cannon's okay. We can certainly pot the bottom of the two reds, the one that's Seven. nearest the black. But he's going to have to go around two, three cushions for a colour. Where he's played that tells us the Eight. pink's still available in the corner. Well, I can only presume that's another bad contact. Mark Williams, 40. We'll have a look again. Now, when you're playing slow with side, that, that's when you have got every chance of getting the kick. Yeah, it's just push to the jaw. Just push straight in. It's a shame this match has been sport by the... Maybe the conditions today may be a little bit damp, but it's not really raining outside, I don't think, so I don't know why it should be any damper today than it was the previous days. I know the swimming pool's in the next room virtually, but it's not been as bad as this over the last couple of days. Yes, and to be fair to Mark, it wasn't an easy pot whether he had a kick or not, you know, playing with a lot of side and that. But that red there, and as he fluked it, he has. He's missed that red by a very, very long way. I mean, he's got this green to the right corner. Again, a lot of distance between both balls. I think once Mark's in amongst the balls, he's looked very good today. It's only his distance game has been a little bit off. No problems with that one. I don't think he's going to be on anything. And I think he could even be snookered. Four. That he can just get at these reds. Mark Williams, four. Like he's decided to go for a few now, Mark. He's not refusing anything. Oh, that's unlucky. What's amazing this game? Four ball kiss is perfectly on the green. No, nothing but a safety. Mark Williams. Been misjudged, he'd be lucky to get away with that. Fouls. He completely misjudged it, and the one to the extreme right of those cluster of six that are on the top cushion there, that would have been possible. So he actually played to go around the back of that red and rest on the, the three reds directly behind the black spot. So he'd been lucky to get away with that, Neil has.
See, that's what he played the first time, round the back of the red. So he was very fortunate on his first visit. We've seen Mark Williams's son in the audience. And uh, this is his lovely wife, Jo, who you can see is almost saying a prayer. <laughs> it's been very nail biting, hasn't it? Both players are not at their best, but it doesn't matter. It's all a case of getting over the winning line. Mark's in a position now where he's three to in front and 15 points in front, so he's definitely favourite. That's a good safety shot from Neil. Brilliant return. That was an excellent safety. <laughs> Just looking at a possible plant, but he'd be more concerned with getting the cue ball safe. Not quite on, but it can be made. Well, the plant didn't go in, and he's cannoned the blue. He's played a couple of loose safeties in this game. Neil Robertson, he's gone right off the boil. You can only put that down to I think he's lost a couple of frames today that he should never have lost. And that's to the credit of Mark Williams. He's done a couple of great clearances. Press conference will be quite interesting from both his players, but to talk about a being pleased to get over the line, but uh, the loser will be a little bit critical, I think, of the conditions out there today. I think the winner might have a few complaints as well. Well, Mark actually lined up for this red to the left corner. And he's been missing these by a long way so far through this match. And he's missed that one by a long way as well. Pushed the boat out a little bit there. Can't see the value in playing that. I don't think he's made one long pot. I'd say that's the only thing that's missing in his game at the minute. When he's getting in, he's scoring well, his safety's good. What can Neil Robertson do One. with this chance? seen Neil play so many careless shots as he has done this afternoon. Just took up behind the green, looks the only option now. Neil Robertson.
Mm. Well, I'm not so sure about that one. I think he may have played to it the first red and do the same thing. Let's have a little look at that shot that Mark Williams has just played and uh, make your own arrangements at home. Make you, what, you, what do you think he played? Let's have a look at the shot. <coughs> now, has he played to hit the first red? I think so. <coughs> He's played thin off that red to leave it in the same place as it's finished. I think it was a bit risky to play that red. But anyway, deserves a bit of luck. He's had a little bit of bad luck this afternoon. But he is 3-2 in front. The only part of his game that's been missing. And in a funny sort of a way, it's knocked Neil completely out of his uh, sink. Oh, we just talked about a bit of good fortune for, for Mark and uh, bad fortune for Neil. But that was a very lucky escape from Mark. I know there's only 11 points in it, but where the balls are, 11 points is probably equivalent to 40 or 50 points when the balls are in open play. So this little lead he's got now is very important in where the balls are. <coughs> With Neil Robertson obviously to get in front, he's going to have to pot three reds, three colours, and where are they going to come from? I'm surprised Neil's not playing an aggressive safety shot there. He could have brought a couple of reds into play, playing into Bork, but decided to keep it tight. Very scrappy frame, this. to the little safety battle there as far as playing at this end of the table. It's an excellent safety shot from Neil. Got to be very careful here if he's looking at the cross double on the two reds on the left. The black and red are in the way. But 
first glance, I can't see an easy way of getting back into port. Maybe the one that's nearest the pink spot, play it very thin, and then try and get the cue ball up towards the green. And get round the back of the pink, okay. Yes, I think you called it, really. I think that would probably be the, be the shot. Obviously, Mark has spotted another one. Will you be happy with that? Might find himself in trouble at the next shot, but it's a containing safety. to say at the moment and Robertson is just about in control of this safety battle and even if someone does get in the balls are not at exactly inviting positions to score so Mark will be quite happy that this frame balls are mucked up and it's going to be a bit tight right throughout his career he's had this fantastic ability of winning scrappy frames so it'll suit Mark another good safety shot there covering the red that's nearest the blue oh, the Mark will be tempted to the right of the pink, I think he can get through to the potting angle. It doesn't look like he wants to entertain it so far. Now oh, there's a tempter now for Neil in the middle. And uh, just plays it on and off the top cushion just a fraction, the green will be available. He's just coming around to see how close to the cushion can he get and still be able to pot the green. He doesn't want to be tight on the cushion and have no shot on the green. Probably wants the cue ball five or six inches off the cushion. One. And the kick took all the pace out of it. You saw him look up into the gods and he's finished exactly where it's no good. When he potted it, he looked up in the gods. He just bounced that little bit and that just took the pace out of the white. That was a great shot for only one point. Neil Robertson won. trouble. He's having a little look. Is there any way he can leave that cue ball down by the black? Is he going to leave any kind of a shot for Neil Robertson? He'd be reluctant to play the slow roll up to the red next to the black because the table appears to be not running as true as it has done in the previous two days. Once he sorted out, maybe a thin cut, put the white on the, this top cushion. Yeah, that's what he's looking for, but look where the red's gone. Goodness me. Look where the red's gone. One. 
Six. You can't imagine that Robertson will win this frame from <coughs> this effort, but he'll certainly be right back and in control of this frame. He's only four points adrift. There are two or three reds that he should be able to take colours off before he's got to start looking at developing anything else. Started to leave the, the long blue. Seven. I can only presume the fields he can get on to the next red in such a way that he can develop the pink. <laughs> Not from that angle. Yep. Decision time. Do you play the cannon onto the red and pink, or do you try and play the cannon onto the two reds, or do you play the cannon onto the red and black? There's three different shots you can play here. I think the, the one you're guaranteed to get on a red really is playing the real slow cannon onto the red and pink. He's not looking at that. You'd have to be very unlucky if you didn't catch the red and pink at exactly the same time, not to leave the red on. But he may decide to bring the two reds off the cushion. We'll know in a second. So he's decided to try and do. He's done it pretty well. 18. <coughs> oh, can you believe it? Just absolutely squared up. He missed that red by he three inches. 18. How can you play a cut and miss it by that far? I just don't know what's wrong with the table out there at the moment. Look how far he misses this by. Two inches. <laughs> we One. had some strange shots today. Very unlucky. He'd gone all out there for to try and win the frame at that one shot. He thought, well, he's sure to kiss the black into play, sure to be on the black. Just keep an eye on what happens. Amazing. <coughs> <laughs> he can't believe it. By far and away the longest frame of the match so far. Just coming up to 32 minutes in a few seconds' time. And uh, I think there's another 10 minutes left in this frame. Neil Robertson won. Cue ball in behind the black. Couldn't quite get there. He couldn't hit it too hard because he was always pushing this red towards the corner. Make sure there's no double kiss here. Which he's done. And he's played again a very, very good shot. And the red's gone in such a place where Mark would have probably had a go at this red pretty confidently. But the fact that Neil's brought that red back into play down this end of the table means that it's very risky. 
since, since Mark actually potted the ball. And when you consider he, he led by 23 points to nil, I think, at one time. Oh, you're kidding. Wow, did think that was in. He couldn't get much closer than this. What kept that out? And I think he's just about got away with it. Right, you can see Neil Robson looking at this red. What a thin snick this is. It's got to be play the safety off the red to the right corner. <coughs> And get it in behind the brown. You wouldn't think it possible that he couldn't pot this red from where the balls are, would you? But obviously he feels it's uh, not on. short I don't think Mark can go for it well I say he couldn't go for it he did go for the pot again and again he's missed by a long way he needs to have a little bit of run and at the moment it's quite funny the run has changed Mark Williams is having a good time at the moment he missed that by a long way again we see a lot of pressure out there this means a lot of Mark on home soil. It's not getting any easier, Joe, is it? Two players at the moment. Uh, Neil Robertson is being playing by far the better safety. Mark's been kind of pushing the boat out, trying to pot a ball to get a bit of the rhythm going. That's just a containing safety shot, really. You don't expect to force an opening from that. He'll put the white right near the green here. May even go behind the green if he's lucky. Oh, that's <laughs> that was hitting the green four ball at one time. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with Mark's eyes. That again was a very, very good shot. Obviously the table today has been playing a little bit funny and a couple of frames ago Neil Robertson thought a ball pushed out towards the brown spot and you could see them with the cue ball going to that green. It was it in that green a lot thicker right in the last eight inches. Pull to the left. So I think after this match we'll probably be having a little look at this table. Another example, we've seen that thin safety shot played on that side of the table three or four times, and obviously Mark didn't expect the table to roll off that time, but may or may not have done. He's given a half a chance to Neil. Needs an angle on this next what? killer to try and somehow get those three reds into play. The fact that the brown's not on its spot helps here. We can go right over the brown spot and just check the white up and hopefully can the three reds into play but it's one of those shots you can miss it by a mile it depends on how much side you get now you see it was very very hard to judge but maybe that top red pot so maybe he's played a good shot maybe he's played an Six. excellent shot well that was played to absolute perfection and the way he's already queuing up that red definitely goes you can see 
Lies in, he's just looking to see what angle he's got to leave on his on the black to disturb them two reds. But how good a shot was that last one? Seven. Not not so good. On the wrong side of this black, so he's gonna continue with this effort. He's gonna have to pop one across the cushion. Dead weight. It's gonna be a little bit higher as well on it than he'd have liked. Tables have played a little bit in the beat. This week 14. has been a lot of balls. If they're not in their little pocket, they're staying on the jaws. And again, he played it confidently, yeah, but has he got the snooker? <coughs> well, he can just get through, I think, especially with a little bit of side. Not great though. I think he's going to have to play it though because if he does happen to pot it, he could get top side of the black and a chance to win frame and match. I think it's worth the risk to be honest. No, I don't think he's playing it. Oh, he was playing it. Well, why is he not going on the black properly then if it was if as easy as that? Hmm, strange. <laughs> Mark Williamson. Last on Mark's favour, he's now moved that pink into a potable position. But if he can get through to this red, it's a nice easy safety shot for Neil Robertson. Just got to make sure he misses the middle jaws. On the right hand side of the table. So that was a clever shot Mark had played if he had got the snooker. As it is, it's left an easy safety. Change the angle of that pot as well to get to the red. That's why he was nowhere near the middle pocket. Well, he's going to play the cross double here. But I'm not sure the tail was playing fast enough, to be honest, from this that where the white is. If the white was near the black, I'd, I'd, I'd fancy it, but I'm not sure whether he's going to be able to hit this hard enough to get it away from the pocket. Oh, has he got second prize there or what? Amazing. Well, that's all gone wrong. Not only has he missed it, he's given a free ball. If he hadn't caught the jaws that middle pocket, it'd have just been the four he'd have given away. But due to the fact he's caught the jaws, just needed to miss. So now. Neil Robertson will just need a colour in the red. That's not the best shot he's ever played. He's got work to do now. Yeah, when you consider he played to get onto the blue in the middle. He's very fortunate Harrison around in the top. Not too sure whether he can run through and miss the kiss on the pink and around the back of the pink. 
We'll know in a few seconds. <coughs> oh, has he missed the pink? What a brilliant shot that is. What a fabulous shot that is. Well played. Six. Seven. Well, it's a frame of snooker that will be crossed from their memory banks immediately. Probably the worst frame of snooker they've played. 16. Quite some time. But the key thing for Robertson is now right back in it at three all. It hasn't been pretty this frame, but that won't worry Neil Robertson. Twenty three. First frame of the match where we haven't had a sizable break. But Neil Robson will be pretty pleased. Mark Williams concedes, leaves Neil. the auditorium, and both players have. We're all square at three all. A room for a decider. Well, despite that long frame there, he'd be looking for the first chance to get in and win it. Well, this is the decider. Sit tight. It could be a good one. Yes, I agree. Here we go then. Best of one. I agree with Terry. I think for Mark to win it, he's going to need a reasonable opportunity early on in the frame. Try and score a break. I mean, obviously, Neil Robson's having so much success with moment he'll never doubt himself always feeling confident that's what happens when you're used to winning when you're looking to get a run and things just get a little bit harder things seem to go against you a little bit it's all to play for one good frame Maybe in the next round mark Touching ball. It is touching. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of frames like this, aren't we, where a player's played a run up into the pack and left a touching ball. You know, we should definitely find the top cushion here behind the yellow. this red up and down the table you can't imagine for a minute he's going to attempt the pot although he is looking long and hard at it and if it was early on in the match he'd probably look at this value and go in for it
Very well executed shot by Mark Williams. Joe, I wonder how she's feeling like at this minute. She's probably saying, come on, Abby. You can do it. Otherwise, your dinner will be in the dog when you get home. I think we better go to the Italian Joe's, don't you? Just in case. That's a good safety shot. Very, very good safety shot from Williams. <laughs> and Justin Pipe there, just uh, getting engrossed in this match. It hasn't been the best of matches, but uh, he'll be pretty pleased to see his man still batting away, still battling away. Another good safety shot. That is absolutely the worst to... thing could happen for him. Not only is he Mr. Red, but I think he's got a free ball. That's a total disaster, really. And we've said about it, he's playing with his Q. It's non-deflective. Played all his life, obviously, with a deflecting Q. He's trying a new one out. And it's amazing this week how many times... He's had to play with a little bit of side and he's missed the balls completely. He's still getting used to the queue. He hasn't had it very long. But he believes once he gets into it, it's going to make a massive difference. Oh, that was a disaster for him. Well, I'm saying that and he's over, <laughs> he's over screwed that yellow. There's been a lot of animation in this match today, what? Willie. More than I've ever seen from yeah. these two players. These two players are blessed with wonderful temperaments. He was just trying to just come very close to the brown and come past the middle pocket. It seemed to try to kick <coughs> that badly. It's uh, come wider the brown and hit the, the other side of the middle. But uh, nothing on now. The reason I say nothing on now, I mean, we wanted to be, you know, to be low on the blue so he could play into the into the bunch. He's going to have to go round the houses. Maybe enough room just to check it. The, the key problem here is kissing the yellow on the way back. And if he plays in between yellow and brown, he's not got much room to get onto a red. How's his pace? Not good, I don't think. The six. mark will be pretty pleased that uh, foul shot has only cost him six points. Can he pot anything? The one above the black will cut in. Well, Mark, you've been given a reprieve. And Being the black's available in the opposite corner. stuck it any better it's absolutely perfect obviously he's got this red and maybe one other in the Six. open he's gonna have to start developing either the reds on the top cushion or the cluster there might be one just at the back of the pack ones below the pink that'll go into this right corner He's got a lot of work to do. Six. 
second. We'll see now if this, this red goes, he'll be playing for it. And he's up, actually having a little look at it as well into the left centre, so. From our angle, I don't think it'll go to the corner, so he'd have to be playing for it. In the well, it does. Forty. Yeah, similar to what Darren was saying, which angle will he leave on the black? Will he leave an angle to go into the cluster below the pink, or will he leave an angle to go into the ones behind? Well, you could. Mark Williams, forty. Oh, another look at that. I took my eyes off. I was just looking at the scoreboard. Did it hit the other red? Yeah, just caught the other red. It did pot though, looking at that angle. And only off one cushion, but it potted. Point. Well played it perfectly, and that was a lovely angle on the the only thing can go wrong here, if he hits the red directly above the black as we see this red disappear, if he hits the red directly above the black full ball, it could stick on it. So he needs to catch this red half ball. And he has caught the half ball, but he's run away to the side cushion. I don't think there's a red on now. Eight. Why is it players continue to play the screw into that? O'Sullivan would just stun up into those reds. You want to screw into them like, it, like Robertson did, but how can you could say that it's the wrong thing to do when, you know, Robertson's made 87 centuries this season? He knows how to break build, but that was a mistake. Lee Robertson, eight. <coughs> Catching. Farms. Mark Williams. <coughs> Good cue ball by Mark. Try and put that cue ball in behind the green. If this one nearest the corner pocket. Well, he's it in much too thick. Is this the chance that Mark's been looking for? It's a mid distance pot. <coughs> he can play this. Knowing that the only one he can really leave on is the red he's playing. He can stand down for the pink or cross for the blue. a great shot. Can you bring Reds into play? Oh, you're kidding. Isn't it amazing this game? When it's been such a scrappy match, Six. neither player has found a true form, and the harder you try, the, the harder it gets. You'd have thought you'd been certain once you've made contact with those reds to either push one on the middle or get a one in the corner. Anything but a full ball on that right hand red would have been okay.
Mark William six. That wasn't a great shot by Mark. A little bit unlucky with his shot off the blue going at the three reds, but total miscalculation there. He wanted that red a lot thinner. With a lot more side to pass the blue. Just caught it a little bit thick. I mean, if he'd slid past the blue, there's a very good chance that cue ball would have snuck in behind the green. As it is, he's given Neil Robertson an half chance. And that wobbled. I didn't find his way in cleanly. We've seen balls like that throughout this match. Wobble and stay on the all. Still not easy. Obviously in practice this pink could be 9, 10 out of 10. A little bit more pressure out there now. Got a cue straight. He yep. cued that very well. Eight. <coughs> I don't think Mark's going to be too worried at the minute. Because for this to become a frame and match winning chance, you know, Robertson has got a lot of work to do. The balls are not 15. in a great position. Now he has got a little angle on this pink. He'd have to play it with run inside. It's all about this next shot. Yeah, nothing happened. No side. Just squared up. Twenty-one. We're still no nearer to knowing who's going to win this final frame. Robertson 21. Well, that's nearly finished behind that green there. Damn it, he was miles over to the right. Another inch more, and Mark could have been snookered there. This table is definitely pulling on the way down towards the brown spot. It'll be very interesting to hear what both players say in their press interviews after this match has concluded. Yes, yeah, the problem with this safety shot, of course, if he does hit it poorly, he'll be bringing the black into play. That's why he's playing an alternative safety. The natural one would be the one next to the black, but because it's too risky this time. All the problem when the tight on the cushion is hitting them thick. I think this red will pass in between the brown and yellow. Oh. 
Juan. Now, what kind of angle has he got on this brown? Can he get into these reds? Just off the side cushion at pace. Made his screw directly up into him. Oh, there's one that pots, the one next to the blouse pot. And why on earth has he not decided to go into them there? Five. Six. Very clever shot, left an angle this time. Well, Mark better hope that Neil gets a double kiss here on the middle red of the five at the back cushion, because if he splits them, hits them half ball, he's almost sure to be on something. And he hits them half ball, so he should be on something. The only thing that could go wrong there with that shot, really, was hitting it that five. middle red of the five four ball. And as we can see, as we show you it again, you can see it's hit half ball, so all of a sudden the reds are bound to split. He considered himself very, very unfortunate to have a pot. I think sometimes the, with the table playing a little bit poorly today, the fact that it's the best of seven match and we've had like seven frames on the table without it being brushed and cleaned and the balls being cleaned, I think that could pay, play a part. I mean, it's been a very slow match, isn't it? For these two players, I would have expected the game to be over in uh, two hours maximum. Even at 4-3, I'd have expected it to be able to take only two hours, and it's you know coming up to two two hours forty minutes. And uh, we're I thought it was longer than that, to be honest. It felt it was like longer. Robertson, 12. Yes, and without a shadow of a doubt, Willie, it's had an effect on both players. Obviously, they've lost a little bit of confidence with all the kicks and different things. But on the other hand, it has been quite an intriguing match. A good pop by Mark. One. Just lost the cue ball. He'd like to bring the blue into play here because he's uh, 26 points behind, but Mark, it was too difficult to get. <laughs> he's complaining now it bounced off the cushion. <laughs> he felt once he'd hit the yellow, he did it perfect. A player knows in his own mind whether he's got the pace right, and he's just bemused at the way the, where the white's finished. As soon as he hit that, he thinks, oh, that's perfect, that's behind the green. And all of a sudden, it sprung off the cushion. But he's got in a little bit of trouble. Like I say, he, was he would have liked to have brought the blue into play on his previous shot, but he, he couldn't hide the cue ball. So he has to play one that was definitely going to get the cue ball safe. You just can't believe how good a oh, shot please. he's just played there and he's gone and off. It's all happening. It is all happening. Mm, yes, it's an excellent safety shot he played. Mark's got to be careful here as we see the white disappear. That doesn't kiss the blue here. Yeah, he's played an alternative shot. So I thought <coughs> if he swung it around the angles trying to get in behind the green, the blue is in the way. <coughs> but what a good safety shot he's played. Similar situation for Neil here. He'll do well to miss the cannon on the blue if he swings the cue ball round off the red, red ex <coughs> to the extreme left. If he tries to cut the one that's behind the black, he could run it over the pocket. Mm. He's going to play for the red that's 
that's loose and just hopefully knock it safe. This could go wrong. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. But played it well. a nice easy start on that red both parts of that shot went wrong didn't want to can on the blue and he did that red to go into that cluster a little bit fuller he had the thinnest of snicks off the one red he's got a lot of work to do with the cue ball mind so it's not all over just yet well one can't believe how close he's come to that middle middle jaws there. Well, it's almost a comedy of errors at the moment, isn't it? Me, the player, has taken this final frame by the scruff of the neck. <coughs> You're playing some sort of pot, whether it be the yellow or the blue. But he can't really get onto an next red, so is it <coughs> worth just playing a safety shot? to know what, how the match is going at the minute, what they're going to play. In rolling up to the green is not a bad option. Trying to get the white either in behind the brown or in behind the blue. The yellow is only two points, which is okay is okay. But, you know, you're not gaining any advantage from that extra two points. Green. Robertson. Now oh, it's vital here. He doesn't catch this too thick. Rather miss the ball than than uh, hit it too thick. Yeah, good shot. Well done. That was an excellent shot. Well played. Just see this match coming down to one really well played safety, one really good pot. I think that's what's going to be decided on. And again, he's played a very good safety, got a very good cue ball. I'm in a little bit of trouble here. He can go off this red to the corner pocket, it's going to be very thin. He's going to have to go off it though to miss the jaws. He's hit it a little bit thicker than he'd have liked. But unless uh, Neil Robertson's want to take a big risk, he can go for this red into the corner. He's having a look to see if there's a gap that he can get in between the three and around the back. If he thinks he can, he'll probably play it. It's a big shot. 23 point lead. <coughs> I think the, the safety is a better choice. But once again, he can't really hit the red thick enough, the one that's to the extreme right of the table, to A, get the white safe, and B, not, not stick it down the pocket. He'll be cutting along the past the reds. That's his problem. So usually, when Neil's in a bit of trouble, he plays a pot, but it doesn't look like he's playing one here. He's decided to play an excellent safety shot. Oh, 
That's close. Mark's facial expression tells me that that white has just drifted <laughs> past the brown, which means you can see this red. If it had covered that red, you know, Robertson would have been all sorts of trouble. He may even take the pot on in the middle. So cut this in, come in between the gap of the pink and the red, back into Bork. Ah, now then, has he covered everything? I think the last shot he had a slight kick as well. You're in the contact of it. And the white left the bays a little bit, but this still isn't great for Mark, is it? Big shot this. Oh, he's played it with Total conviction and Congress just needs a little bit of luck now with the kill ball and I think he's got it. One. So all of a sudden he's got a chance to get right back into this game and maybe even win this match. This visit. Well, he's on the yellow, he's on the green, he's on the blue. The yellow looks the best choice from here. Oh, he's played this well as well. This is a good shot. Probably be reluctant to play on the black here unless he plays the cannon on one of the two reds to just p push the red by the black spot. That's what he's tried to do, and that's what he's got. Well played. Now, that one shot has given him a chance to win frame and match because those two reds weren't available until he played that cannon. Now, Mark Williams, you've done this many, many times in your career, cleared up from a few behind. You've got to do it one more time. Twenty. As he played his last shot in this year's Bet Victor Welsh Open. Twenty one. This black puts him five points in front. Need up to and including the blue. When he looks at the paper tomorrow morning, he'll forgive himself for playing poorly. The victory is 20. what it's all about. I'm sure that his wife Joe is looking on and got her fingers crossed. Well, this, 33. Is, this is the last one that can go wrong because the blues are certainty. If the brown goes in, the blues are certainty. This is frame and match ball, this one shot. Well done, Mark Williams. I don't know how he's done it. He's struggled through, but he's battled and battled and battled. I don't know how he's made 42 because the last three or four frames have been really scrappy. He needs to pop this though because Robertson will carry on. 19 points, so he needs one snooker to tie. What a time to make a fabulous break of 48. Very scrappy in the last three frames, but Mark Williams pulled it out when it mattered most. Not a great match, but that won't make any difference to these Welsh fans who are almost on their feet. Mark Williams, the last Welsh survivor, goes into the next round.